Giraffes are made for stepping. Not sure what they're trying to tell us, but we'll see. Okay, so we've got to get across the crocodiles. We've got to get across the rafts. We've got to get across the islands. Seems like three loops for me. And it could be, you know, this could be a straight step and turn. But again, we're practicing four loops. And I'd, I'd be curious which one would require what, uh, less, fewer lines of code. And here's the thing about coding. Real programmers work on complex projects that are constantly changing. So if we were creating this, if we wrote the code out with step, you know, what, turn left, step however far, turn right, step however far. If we made one small change to any part of this, all that code would be invalid and have to be totally redone. A for loop allows you more flexibility as a programmer because it doesn't matter if you decide to add more crocodiles or change some things up a little bit, they should still work. So let's get started. First, we gotta deal with the crocodiles. We're doing four, three for loops. What? And here's another note. And Hopefully by now you've already figured this out. Once you get an, what you needed out of a video, it's okay for you to pause there and go back to your work. Um, like if you, if the light bulb went off and you're like, oh, I get it now, you don't need to watch me write the code. But if you're not sure that what I'm saying is gonna work or if you still need to see it, keep watching. Um, I didn't say quit the video because you never know you might need to come back. So the next thing we have to deal with are the rafts. So for R in rafts, what? I didn't, didn't move my cursor, my bad. Turn to R, step distance to R. And then, now you gotta be careful with your spacing on this one. For I, oh my goodness. Nope, why am I pressing one? I in islands. Turn to I, step distance to I. I think this one, they're just testing how well we pay attention to details. Are you watching your syntax? Are you making sure everything's correct? 